This is Jeopardy! Today's contestants are... Player one! Player two! Player three! And now, here is the host of Jeopardy! Alex Trebek! Hey, Johnny Gilbert. How is everyone today? Let's take you right now into the Jeopardy round. And we start the Jeopardy round categories with this one. I hop. Cakes. Steve Martin movies. Literary pets. When did it happen? And everyday Italian. Player one, you start us off. The red type of this marsupial can leap over barriers as high as six feet. Okay, player one, use the Wii remote or press the corresponding direction on the plus control. Correct. <laughs> you again, player one. This class of animals includes frogs and toads. Player one. You are correct. Player one, the hare named for this country between France and the Netherlands is actually a rabbit. Yes, player one. Yeah! Right. Select again. A grasshopper shares the billing with one of these insects in the title of an Aesop fable. Let's hear it, player one. Hey, you're right. Player one, back to you. This tiny insect pest, Pulex irritans, can leap more than 130 times its own height. Yes, player one. Right. Player one, pick again. In earlier days, this evil-sounding chocolate cake was colored with red food dye. Okay, player two. Uh -huh. That is correct. Please pick again. The Cheesecake Factory has put its famous cream cheese icing on this other type of cake. Player one. Yep. <laughs> Player one, Schwarzwalder Kirschtort is known by this colorful name in English. Let's hear it. Player one. <laughs> that is correct. You get to pick again, player one. This aluminum cake pan that sounds like a baseball play was invented by H. David Dahlquist in the early 1950s. It's player two. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> we return to you, player As its two. name suggests, a trompe l'oeil cake is one designed to deceive this sense. Let's hear it, player one. Yeah, good. Select again. Steve Martin, Martin Short, and Chevy Chase were these title characters of a 1986 comedy. Yes, player three. Right you are. You again, player three. In planes, trains, and automobiles, Steve Martin told him, those aren't pillows. Okay, player one. <laughs> That's correct. 
Player One, back. This 1987 comedy in which Steve played Fire Chief C.D. Bales was based on Cyrano de Bergerac. It's Player One. Yes. <laughs> Player one, back. Steve Martin and Bonnie Hunt are the parents of an extremely large brood in this 2003 remake. Player three. Good for you. <laughs> Choose again, player three. Queen Latifah wreaks havoc on the life of straight-laced lawyer Steve Martin in this 2003 comedy. Yes, player two. Correct. You get to pick again, player two. The title beast of his The Hound of the Baskervilles is actually the pet of Mr. Jack Stapleton. It's player one. <laughs> Good. We return to you, player one. Harry Potter uses his snowy owl named this to transfer messages. Player two. <laughs> yes. <laughs> player two. Pick again. Marjorie Kinnan Rawlings' The Yearling centers on this type of pet. Let's hear it, player two. Right. Please pick again, player two. Little Swan, Little Bear, and Green Finch are some of the goats of this Johanna Spiri lass. Okay, player one. Good. <laughs> player one, you pick again. A poetic Elliot feline who has lived many lives in succession is named for this fifth book of the Old Testament. Let's hear it, player three. That's correct. Choose again, player three. Let's go to the Clue Crew for this next clue. JFK won the presidential nomination at the Democratic National Convention in this year. It's player two. That's right. Way to go. <laughs> Player two. Pick again. The U.S. declared war against Spain on April 25th of this year. Okay. Player three. Yeah! You got it. Please pick again. Player three. Bastille Day in France commemorates an event on this date in 1789. Player three? Ooh. Yes. <laughs> Select again. The Sons of Liberty threw one heck of a tea party in Boston on December 16th of this year. Yes, player two. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> Player two, back. <laughs> Answer, it's the Daily Double. You're in second place, so what is your wager going to be? Okay, here is the clue. King John affixed his seal to the Magna Carta at Runnymede in June of this year. You are now in first place. We return to you, player two. Formaggio is this dairy product. It's player one. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> player one, you this food staple is pane. 
Yes, player three. Yay! That's correct. <laughs> you get to pick again, player three. This body part is il piede. Let's hear it, player three. Hey, you're right. You again, player three. This quadruped is un cavallo. Player one. That's yeah! right, way to go. And now the thousand dollar clue. This day of the week is martedi. Okay, player one. Right. The Double Jeopardy round will begin right after this. Let's see what happens in Double Jeopardy with these categories awaiting the players. Get positive. Biblical abominations. Inventors and inventions. Name that century. Royalty on film. And Ends in you. All right, if you're ready, it's double jeopardy time. The book Well Done applies the positive techniques used at this marine park to business and family life. It's player three. Yes. Player one, back thriving through stress, like him conducting Ode to Joy while ill, is the idea in a book called The Him Factor. Yes, player one. Woo! Good. <laughs> you again, player one. His power of positive thinking begins, believe in yourself, have faith in your abilities. Okay, player one. <laughs> right. Player one, you pick an illustrated book pairs Alexander Calder's artwork with the lyrics to his song, Don't Worry, Be Happy. Let's hear it, player one. Yes. <laughs> player one, pick again. Oprah has unlocked the this a book by Rhonda Byrne about using positive visualization. Player three? Good. You get to pick again, player three. Leviticus chapter 11 says, Most insects that creep or fly are an abomination, but this eighth plague is kosher. Okay, player one. That's it. <laughs> player one, back to you. Leviticus chapter 11 verse 13 declares that this bird of prey, later a symbol of Roman legions, is an abomination. Player two. Yeah! Oh, good. We return to you, player two. Topuri is not mentioned, but this burning perfume is an abomination, according to Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 13. It's player two. <laughs> right you are. Select again. Leviticus, chapter 11, verse 10 says, All that have not fins and these in the seas shall be an abomination. Yes, player one. Good for you. 
Choose again, player one. In Genesis, chapter 46, verse 34, every shepherd is an abomination unto this kingdom that was known as Kemet. Let's hear it, player two. Yep. Please pick again, player two. Walter Deemer with the Fleer Company invented the first commercially successful type of this chewing gum in 1928. Okay, player two. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> player two, back to you. In 1879, James A. Ritty invented this machine, and retailers have been ringing up sales ever since. Let's hear it, player one. That is correct. You get to pick again, player one. In 1798, this cotton gin inventor began using a system of interchangeable parts to make muskets for the U.S. government. Player one. That's correct. <laughs> Player one, you pick again, please. In 1938, chemist Roy Plunkett invented polytetrafluoroethylene, a non-stick substance better known as this. It's player two. <laughs> right. <laughs> player two, pick again. Martha Coston invented the Coston This, a device for signaling at sea in the 1850s. Yes, player three. Correct. <laughs> player three, back to you for our next selection. Ben Franklin flew a kite and invented the lightning rod. Player one. You are correct. Player one, back. The Impressionists exhibited their paintings for the first time. Okay, player one. Yes. <laughs> you again, player one. Answer, <laughs> the first of the Daily Doubles. And you have the lead. How much? Here is your clue. London experienced its deadly great fire. That puts you even further ahead. Choose again, player one. Ferdinand and Isabella of Spain got married and united their kingdoms. Yes, player two. Ah, yeah. Select again. Rodent-borne plague killed off a third of Europe's population. Let's hear it, player three. That's correct. We return to you, player three. Helen Mirren as this queen in The Queen. It's player two. Yes! Correct. <laughs> Please pick again, player Kate two. Kate Blanchett in 1998 as this title queen. Okay, player one. That's right, way to go. Choose again, player one. Kirsten Dunst in 2006 as this title queen. Player one. <laughs> hey, you're right. You again, player one. Robert Shaw was him 
in a man for all seasons. It's player one. That is correct. Player one, back to Catherine Hepburn was her in The Lion in Winter. Yes, player three. Right. Player three, pick again. Both Roy Orbison and Linda Ronstadt sang about a blue one. Let's hear it, player one. Good. <laughs> Select again. An Eastern spiritual leader or a recognized leader in a field. Okay, player two. <laughs> right you are. Player two, you pick again, please. From the old French for bundle, it's the bundle of clothing and linens a bride collects for her marriage. Yes, player two. Good. Ah, yeah. You get to pick again, player two. This world capital is located about 180 miles southeast of Miami. It's player one. Correct. And now the $2,000 clue. Answer, the second daily double. And you're in the lead now. So what's your wager? And the clue. These Bantu-speaking people make up the largest language group in the Republic of South Africa. You have maintained your lead. Way to go. You all move on to Final Jeopardy, which will continue after these messages. Here comes the Final Jeopardy players. The category is this. Artists? So, what's your wager? Each direction on the plus control pad represents a different response. Press a direction to select an answer. Here's your final Jeopardy clue. In 1881, he wrote to Emile Zola, I must soon leave Veteuil, and I'm looking for a pretty place by the Seine.
you put as your response? With that correct <laughs> response, <laughs> you will gain. And your response? And yeah! that correct response will add. Let's see your response. How much do you add to your total with that correct response? Yeah! Congratulations, player one. You are our new champion. So long.